once you have your vehicle support on jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and use our jack underneath our leaf spring. I'm going to go ahead and raise this up. What we're doing is taking the load off of the leaf spring. Using a 21 millimeter socket and ratchet, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this nut here. It's actually spinning the whole bolt, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a wrench on the other side here. Now switching over to the 21 millimeter wrench on this side and a 21 millimeter swivel socket with our impact gun on the other side. Go ahead and remove our bolt here. I'm just gonna use our chisel tip here to go ahead and pop that bolt out the rest of the way. Remember you have your jack underneath the leaf spring taking the load off of this here. Now what we're doing is we're adjusting our jack height underneath the leaf spring and we got it to the point where it took the pressure off and we were able to work the bolt right out. Let's go ahead and remove our upper bolt. Let's go ahead and remove that washer off the back side here. We can now go ahead and lower that jack down slowly. Now lowering this down, it's gonna release our spring tension. I'm gonna be able to go ahead and remove our shackle. I'm just gonna relocate our jack to the center differential just as a safety precaution. Now in order to get our tool in here to go ahead and press this bushing out of our leaf spring, you wanna go ahead and lower your spare tire and get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what we want to do is go ahead and grab your exhaust and remove it from our hanger here.
Once this is removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the exhaust from the hanger right by the muffler. Using our press tool here, we're able to press the bushing out of the frame. Let's go ahead and remove our tool. And we're going to use our tool to pull our new bushing in. That's snug, so we're going to go ahead and loosen and remove our tool. Bracket up, install our bolt with washer, install the washer and nut on this side here. Just leave that loose. And we're now gonna go ahead and uh, bring our leaf spring into our bracket right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our jack Go ahead and use our jack to raise up the rear differential. sure we can raise up the leaf spring eyelets so that our bolts will slip in. Go ahead and get our bolt in there. We're gonna work the upper hanger, the rubber bracket. We are going to remove the rubber hanger from the upper support.
The reason why we're pulling it off the upper hanger is that it is a straight sleeve right here. I'm trying to stretch that rubber hanger down around this bend is very complicated. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this over the bend. Lift up the exhaust and work that onto the straight sleeve. Go ahead and remove our jack from the vehicle. At this point here, we'll probably be a good time to go ahead and install your spare tire back up under the bed. Now, when we go to tighten down our suspension bolt, you want to make sure that the suspension is loaded or preloaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up our rear differential to give us that simulated compressed suspension. What you want to do is maybe uh, remove your jack stands with using your jack, lower the vehicle down to the ground. When you do this, you're going to see the leaf spring shackle start to pivot like so. Once you have your vehicle down on the ground, now's the time to go ahead and tighten your upper and lower bolts.